Hey folks, Moose here. So this is going to be um, a video in a series of three. It's the, the videos that I had pulled for the month of February. Um, I've got three items that were donated to me by Scrapper John, another uh, main scrapper, who um, got these items and he wanted them scrapped. So um, there was a, a, a large phone for, I guess, the hearing impaired, um, an oxygen generator, and this one, the nebulizer. So this is the next one that you voted for. Um, now normally, I would not scrap this thing because nebulizers, um, they're an excellent, excellent machine to have for an air bubbler if you're going to be doing some gold recovery. So, I mean, if, if you get a hold of one of these, you know, if it works, I would, I would hold on to it and use it instead of scrapping it. Uh, but because this is, you know, the viewer's choice, this is what, you know, he gave me. It's technically not my property. Well, I don't know if it is, but his request. So what we're going to do is we're going to scrap this thing out and see what's inside. I've actually never scrapped one of these before, so this is going to be a first for me. I've always just used them to bubble my HCL. So let's take a look. Alrighty. So first things first, power cord. You got your lovely bit of copper in there. Um, brass and the prongs. Uh, I will be taking the brass out because I'm going to be making ingots um, this spring and summer. But I will not be stripping this wall. No, I won't be stripping this wire. It's just too thin for me. All right. Next up, we're going to go on the hunt for screws. Uh, poop. They're the um, they're the pain in the butt ones. They are, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think they're Torx, but let's find out. Oh, what a lucky guess. Yep. So this is Torx bit. So this is probably going to be like, uh, I'm pretty sure that like a lot of like medical equipment to make it so that's kind of hard to tamper with and for good reason wow those are tough to get moving i think i've got them all oh geez there it goes all right so abs recycle that and yep pretty much what I could have expected. It's basically just a motor and a pump. I would have expected some kind of little circuit board in there or something. Um, so we've got this stubborn little switch. There it goes. So we've got this little switch which, you know, may have a, a little silver nub in there. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. Alrighty. And lots of plastic and rubber. This little guy that unscrews off, it's a little air filter. And then the rest of it can come off with a screwdriver. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, so this is I believe like the air exchanger or something. There's a filter the air comes in here, goes out there maybe. This is all plastic. Yep, all plastic. So that goes in ABS recyclable plastic. That is aluminum. That's probably cast aluminum, maybe. There's a few other metals it could be. Uh, but I'd safely say it's cast aluminum. We got our little bit of wire here. All right. <laughs> they 
they changed the size. They felt it necessary to make those screws slightly different than the other ones. So I'm really surprised there actually wasn't some kind of tiny circuit board in there. So I know that um, I've got a CPAP machine, which for those of you who snore know what that is. Um, and I've, I've kind of seen like the inside of it, because you know, I'm, I'm a scrapper, I'm curious. I've you know, looked in the little air vents on the side and I've, I've seen there's some circuitry in that. But this, I'm kind of surprised there's, I mean, I, I get it, it's just an air pump. Um, there's no real settings or can't really change the airflow on this thing or anything like that so I suppose I kind of get that but I, was, I would have thought there'd be something a little bit more Oy. Yeah. nope not that to take apart. There's this little screw here that holds some armature. It's kind of like a piston. Holds it on. Oh, I'm going to step on that later and I'm not going to be happy about it. Alright, so looking at this, we've got, again, that's probably aluminum or zinc or some kind of alloy. Magnesium, I don't know. Some some weird funky thing. I don't know if that's aluminum. It's fairly heavy. And we've got this, which is stuck on there somehow. Oh, the people out there who are going to freak out about me using a chisel on that. Alright, so that, this part probably, I think the, the next best thing for me to do would be to smack that with some kind of chisel. Uh, not chisel, but uh, hammer or get the crowbar on there to separate that out. But it's, it's actually below zero in my garage right now, so I'm not going to do that right now. Just saying. Um, but, so if you look around, you've got... Uh, that's copper. That's, that's all copper right there. And this thing right here, if you were to take that tape off, you can take the tape off. Wow, man, that's like medical tape. Well, if that makes sense, because ow, ow, it's a medical product. All right. So, before you bother taking any of these motors off, you want to make sure you do one thing first. You want to make sure that the windings are actually copper and not aluminum. All right. Unless, of course, your scrapyard pays you more for aluminum than for electric motors, which I'm sure wouldn't be more than just a few cents. Um, so what you would do is you would take this and this color, that's just a, like a varnisher something that they, they spray on it. You gotta scratch the surface and look for that rosy pink copper color. And this is copper. So I am in fact going to take this apart, which um, I've got other videos on how to take apart these fan motors. It, it's, it's, really, it's really not that difficult. Uh, with something like this, what I'll probably just end up doing is you know, put it in my bucket of stuff to do in the spring and I'll just get uh, my sawzall and just slice right down there and pull the copper out. Um, this, I've got a pair of uh, wire cutters. You can clip that and yank that out, those copper pieces. Um, the part in the middle that spins around on this one is going to be irony aluminum because um, there's like little pieces of magnet 
or steel on there that respond to magnets. Um, so the rest of it is, you can pull this chunk off and get, you know, cast aluminum price for that. Um, or just throw it all in like this and get electric motor price. Um, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but because I'm going to be making copper ingots and stuff this spring, I'm going to be removing this copper chunk here. So that's probably a good ounce or two. All right. So that, I think, is it for the nebulizer. We've got a bunch of recyclable plastic. We've got this big honking motor that I'm going to take the copper off of and the uh, this stuff off of. I'm going to figure out what that is. And sometimes cast aluminum. Um, there's other things like a lot of lamp bases and doorknobs and stuff like that are, are made with this metal. It's kind of grayish like this. And sometimes it's cast aluminum, sometimes it's, it's you know, other metals, um, other non-magnetic metals, which typically aren't worth very much anyway. Uh, but it's, you know, I'm going to be making ingots with aluminum, so I want to make sure that I'm not contaminating it with anything. Plus, some of those other metals are very toxic if you um, melt them down, the, the fumes and stuff. So, yep, I'm going to crack this off, get the copper out, leave the rest as is. This is aluminum. I've got my little bit of wire. I've got my little bit more wire. And my little switch here, which I can take apart now. Check to see if there's anything good in there. Okay, see the problem is I'm looking up at the viewfinder up here and trying to scrap at the same time, so that's why I'm hurting myself. Which, you yeah, know, not always fun. Can't tell you how many times I've scrapped something and you know I've been working diligently to, to take it apart. And later, when I'm editing the video, it's like, where am I? I'm not in screen. Oh. Alright. Oh, there it is. Alright, so... There's a little right dead center screen. There's a little nub in there that looks like it could be silver. And a little nub at the tip of that as well. So I'm going to pull those off. And this summer when I start messing with nitric acid, um, I will be recovering and refining all that silver. So that's it for the nebulizer. So again, not a whole lot in there, uh, which is kind of interesting because um, I remember when my daughter was first diagnosed with asthma, we had to get one, and the um, the amount of money that the medical supply company charged for that thing was ridiculous, and it's basically an air pump. <laughs> I mean, really, that's all it's in. It's an air pump. So, so that's it. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Hit that bell. Make sure you, you like the videos if you, if you liked them. Um, make sure you check out the video description. Uh, if you want to make sure that you're entered into the 100,000 subscriber giveaway that I have. Um, if I reach 100,000 subs by the end of uh, December 2020, I'll be giving away a whole bunch of stuff. Ingots from copper to gold. Um, merchandise from my uh, Moose Scrapper Teespring store. And much more. So I want to again thank you guys for watching and see you all in the next one.